in this video we're going to look at testing flash powders nothing really new there but while we're doing that testing aerial sparks and glitters as the flash powder goes off some information about this flash powders are a pyrotechnic composition made with an oxidizer and a metallic fuel usually which burns quickly it can have a report or sound or it may not some reports have over 500 different compositions at this point, I read one that said there's over a thousand, but regardless, there's a lot of different ways to make flash powders. The use of flash powders initially started with fireworks some time ago, but the refining of them started with photography, and they basically use potassium nitrate and magnesium at that point, and that's what I'll be using. When testing the uh, strength of flash powders, it's typically measured by the presence of a flash powder, which is the ability of it to break something the amount of light or brightness produced per unit time, and that kind of makes almost common sense, but the strength can also be tested by the color they make or the sound they make or report. And some flash powders are truly friction sensitive, and obviously when using these, you need to be extremely careful. As I mentioned earlier, in our materials, we're gonna be using potassium nitrate and magnesium. So I'm gonna use a one-to-one -one ratio, 20 grams of each one. We're also gonna need some visco fuse to light this stuff. And to go over the reaction of this particular mix right here, it's two KNO3 potassium nitrates plus five magnesiums yields K2O, which is potassium oxide, plus nitrogen gas, plus five MgO magnesium oxide. In our methods, I want to determine the effects of placing different metals, mostly there's a couple that are not, in the flash powder, lighting it off, and see what types of sparks and or glitters we can form when the flash powders go off. And I need to emphasize this is experimental. I really don't know what's going to happen. The simplest way that I use when I'm testing something is like this. I'm going to have a piece of aluminum foil, maybe three by four inches or four by four inches. I'm going to put the uh, mix of the flash powder down there, somewhere around two grams. Then I'm going to place on top of that the um, element we're going to be testing or the metal, and then put the fuse in there, and then take some duct tape and tape over the entire thing. And this works really well. It's cheap. You're not wasting a lot of material, and it's quick. You'll notice this letter X is pointing to the top there, which I just mentioned, and this is the list of X's. At this point, my ink pen I was using up here ran out, so I just start using a new ink pen. Anyway, X, which I plan on using between one and two grams on top of the flash powder, magnesium shavings, iron shavings or filings, copper dust, copper wire cuttings, and this would be the braided copper wire, titanium powder, a pile of potassium permanganate, and lastly, a chunk of sodium. That's going to be really experimental right there. So without further ado, I'm really interested and excited to see what happens here. It should be fun. Let's go ahead and test our flash powders and try to make some sparks and glitter. 20 grams of potassium nitrate pre-weighed. 20 grams of fine magnesium powder pre-weighed that is really chunky and needs to be ground up. I'm just grinding the magnesium chunks here, which when the powder is fine like this happens all the time. I'm now adding 20 grams of potassium nitrate here, and I'll be grinding it with a wood dowel that I just took the edges off of right there. You can see how I ground that down. All right, there's magnesium dust floating everywhere, but done. And now transfer this to that can there and this will be the base that I use for all of the following for all of the following um, flash powders as we add different things to them to see what different kinds of sparks we got I made one more step in packaging this because the dust was everywhere I just took a old plastic bottle here and labeled it with what was in the can. Before I do anything else, I just wanted to show you the, what the two grams looks like on the aluminum foil there. So I'm next gonna put in the fuse and the uh, duct tape. This is the same pile and I'm gonna take this piece of duct tape and cover it like so. And you can see how easy and simple that is. This is the next pile of two grams of the uh, flash powder mix and I have some magnesium shavings here I got by drilling out one of those fire starters with a typical drill bit and uh, gave me a lot of larger pieces of magnesium this is far from dust so to make a difference I'm gonna have to put quite a bit on each one of these otherwise I don't know that we'll see the uh, total effect 
Next is putting the duct tape over this pile. As you just saw previously, this will be the first test with the magnesium shavings, of course, and done. So I'll be doing this with each one of those. I'm not gonna video every one because that would be boring. So when I'm done, I'll show you them finished. So here are the remaining uh, six, and I'll go over these rather quickly here. So this is the iron filings. This is not iron oxide. This is actually iron filings. This is the titanium, and this is the titanium powder. It's not really powder. It's got a lot of little tiny balls of titanium in there, really. Um, so that's on top of that. This is the copper powder, pure copper powder. These are the copper cuttings from the braided copper wire. Uh, this is a pile of potassium permanganate on top of it. And I wanted to see what happens if you just add a bunch of another oxidizer on top of the flash powder, just to see what happens. It's an experiment. And last but not least, that is a chunk of sodium on top of there. So I'm gonna cover all these with some duct tape. I'm gonna do it at night when I light them and let's see what happens. Before I start lighting them, I just wanted to show you the first one which of course is our control. It's just the potassium nitrate and the magnesium. So I'm gonna set the camera up in the same place so each one can be tested at the same distance so we can tell um, if anything changes and what's best. Not so bad for control. A little subdued. Okay, that was definitely better. Very cool. That was quite a bit brighter. Nice. And this will be the very last one. It's a bonus, and it's going to be a little bigger. I'm not going to let you know what's in it, but let's go see what it does. Okay, this is the mysterious bonus. All right. It's ready to go. Launching. Nice.